chaos at the border. Migrants making a run at the fencing that separates the U.S. and Mexico are sent scrambling here as U.S. Border Patrol agents fire tear gas into the crowd. Now, as hundreds of people protested near the border, American authorities did temporarily shut down border crossings south of San Diego as that happened. This morning, the border is open again, but tensions are still running high. CBS 2 Sophia Dumani is live here in the studio with a closer look at the fallout from all of this. She also tells us how President Trump is responding this morning. This all started when several hundred migrants were protesting near the border yesterday. Authorities say a large group pushed past Mexican police, climbed fences and crossed a riverbank to get to the border. That's when Border Patrol agents stepped in with the tear gas. The Mexican government denounced the attempted breach of the border. Authorities there arrested 39 people for trying to illegally enter the U.S. yesterday. And Mexican officials promised to deport the roughly 500 migrants who tried as well as any others who attempt to violently across the border in the future. Meanwhile, the U.S. government reaffirmed that its authorities will continue to have a robust presence along the border and won't be afraid to prosecute. President Trump also said he's willing to shut down the government if Congress doesn't approve funding for a border wall. This would be a very good time to do a shutdown. The president commented on the border situation early this morning via Twitter, saying, quote, Mexico should move the flag waving migrants, many of whom are stone cold criminals back to their countries. Do it by plane, do it by bus, do it any way you want, but they're not coming into the USA. We'll close the border permanently if need be. Congress fund the wall. Congress has until December 8th to pass a spending bill that would keep the government funded. Meanwhile, CBS News reports the Trump administration has talked with Mexico's incoming government about keeping asylum seekers in Mexico as their cases are processed in the U.S., a new rule that could go into effect as soon as December 1st when Mexico's new president is sworn in. Reporting live in the studio, Sophia Dumani, CBS 2 News.